Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Memorial Day 2015, and I wanted to give you another video update of uh, serial number 9281-1963-06. So uh, I have all the uh, paint off the body now, um, and uh, you can see all the original uh, body lines, uh, seams. Uh, a couple of places, it looks like someone's touched up here with glass and a couple bondo, slight bondo, but uh, places, but uh, still the original glass. Uh, looks like this was a transition period. This is the uh, lighter gray that they uh, used, uh, you know, 63, 64 on. And uh, you can see that the factory GM... Uh, St. Louis used the, uh, the light gray here and then the white, uh, typical white fiberglass here of the older Corvettes. But uh, this was a transition, kind of in the middle of the transition period. So uh, this one just happened to get a gray front end, which is a little unique. Um, I also noticed the jams have the original lacquer. You can see here where the, uh, they painted it with the hinges out. There's a, there's a, you can see bare fiberglass there in the, in the black paint and a little down there as well. Same on the other side. But uh, all in all, the uh, body's in uh, really nice shape. All the way around, you got the uh, body seams. And the rear especially, can't believe, but it does have the original body seams and in it as well. So all original body panels as we suspected uh, with this Z06 and uh, also I wanted to show you under the radio I don't know if you can see that with this you can see uh, Z06 uh, I don't know if you can see it with the lighting but there's a Z06 right there marked under the radio and if I go down to the firewall, I cleaned out an area down here. I got some still pictures that you can uh, see Z06. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but uh, anyway, there you go. I want to walk over here. Here's a frame. I've been doing a lot of frame work. Excuse the mess, but it is a shop, right? So uh, I had to replace both. Uh, frame rails in the in the rear they were pretty bad so uh, you can see the frame rail here in the back I replaced on the driver's side and again also here on the passenger side turned out nice so uh, that's all good and strong now uh, but anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping the suspension and the wheels on there for mobility purposes, just uh, for moving it around and things like that. So. so anyway, there you have the frame rails. I just have to put the, the end caps on the frame rails, and uh, I think I'll wheel, the, uh, I'll wheel it down, get a lot of the surface rust off, and we'll get ready to put the body back on. To refit the body and uh, true up the doors and everything so I got a new body uh, shim kit and everything uh, probably in the next couple of weeks I'll have the body back on the frame and do the door alignment and uh, uh, and, and once I do all of that I'll do finish the body work do the seam lines replace the seams once I do all that I'll pull the body back off and send the frame out to be uh, powder coated. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, until the next video, the next video will probably be with the frame uh, redone and uh, the body. Uh, well, I guess I'll do one with the body on the frame all done, mounted, and all the doors aligned and everything. I'll take another video at that point. Alright? Till then, thank you. That's it.